Hi everybody, Horia here from the Developer Advocate team at Miro. In this video, we're gonna take a look at app metrics. It's a great way to get analytics to see how your app is performing. So this was launched a few months ago and I'll show you the API version and also the dashboard. Let's go into the dashboard first. You're gonna to have to have an app created and hopefully you've installed that app and shared that app with more people. Better yet is if it's a public app and more users have used it. So we're gonna check one of our published apps, it's called Webhook Manager. And you can see here, we have the app metrics button right next to the edit app settings. Once we click that, we'll be able to get the data on this app. So we can see the total installations of the app. So that could be one user installing it on multiple teams. So that would count as multiple installations. Org usage is just the number of unique organizations that have used this app. And then my favorite is this customer count breakdown. Uh, so you can see if people are using it on the free app, the business plan or the enterprise plan. Um, I personally like to also use monthly uh, views if, if I can uh, to get a more holistic view of the data. You can see we had a peak here in early 2023 and uh, you know some valleys, some peaks. Uh, and as you can see, you can kind of see the trend. Um, you can also see the active users here kind of peaked in about 2024. Uh, from from April to about July, so that's pretty cool. You can also export the data as a CSV, and you can also see reoccurring users as well. And you can see it kind of peaked, uh, kind of in the spring, early summer. Um, that's pretty much it for the app metrics dashboard. You can also change the date range if you want to be, you know, seven days, thirty days, etc. So if you just launched a feature in the last few days and want to check how that feature is affecting. Um, usage. So if users are coming back more and more, then you know it's a great feature. I recommend using this time range. Let's also check out the app metrics docs. So here in the app metrics docs, it'll give you a bit more information on how we define all the different terms that are used in, in the app metrics dashboard. And let's go ahead and check out the REST API. So we can show you the endpoint that we can use for this. So to check out the app metrics APIs, you can just scroll down into the experimental features since this was just released and click on go get total app metrics. You'll need the app ID. So we'll go back into our developers.mira.com and we'll scroll back down into our app here. We'll click on edit app settings. And this is gonna be our, this is gonna be our app right here. So apps number, this is our app ID here use that and what's what's what you need is also a special API token this can be generated in your app section of the developer hub so I'm just going to click that this will bring me down to that your app section I'm going to scroll down regenerate the token and I'm just going to click on add again and then I'm going to use that token to make the API request so you can see that same data that we're pulling in the dashboard at 357 for the unique users and installations at 592. You can see that uh, right here as well. Uh, and you can see that 353 total as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Please make sure to leave all your comments and feature requests uh, in the comments below. Thank you.